Hi again, thank you uh, for uh, sticking with these uh, reflections, these thoughts on scripture. I'm going to jump on to Proverbs 28 and verse 23 today. Whoever rebukes a person will in the end gain favour rather than the one who has a flattering tongue. Whoever rebukes a person, so whoever is honest with a person, whoever confronts a person for their sin, their error, uh, their their things that um, uh, the things that go wrong, uh, and that sort of thing. Whoever it is that that speaks truth into somebody's life um, will, in the end, find favour. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't enjoy being rebuked. I don't enjoy it when somebody picks me up and uh, or, or pulls me up and criticises what I've done. But actually, sometimes in the cold light of day, a little while later, we can see the truth, and we can see the reality. And we can see how helpful those comments perhaps were. If somebody is rebuking us justly and rightly for something we've done wrong or something we could do better, then actually that helps us to adjust, doesn't it? And it helps us to um, to, to live better, it helps us to work better, helps us to, to behave uh, and to walk the Christian life in a better way. Uh, and better that than somebody who is just flattering us all the time. Oh, you're wonderful, you're perfect, you're great. Because that doesn't help us improve and it doesn't help us put right the inevitable errors and foibles that there are in our lives. So let's be a people who are ready to speak truth to others, but let's also be a people who are ready to hear truth, to hear uh, loving criticism, helpful criticism, uh, helpful rebuke even, because that's what helps us to walk uh, the Christian life uh, that little bit more closely to how God intends us to. Uh, Let's not be frightened of one another in love, uh, sharing um, truth with us. Let's pray. Father, please help us today to be uh, bringers of truth, deliverers of truth, but also receivers. Help us to know what it is to hear your rebuke and to act upon it. Uh, and even if that comes through the mouths and lips of other people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Uh, May you have a a great day and uh, a really uh, enjoyable opportunity to walk with Jesus. Take care.